Okay guys, so I got this game uh, off Steam today. It's free. It's just a cute little game, I think. Uh, it's supposed to be scary. Uh, we'll see. I don't know almost anything about it. I was just like, meh, cute, free. I have time to spend. So, let's try it out. Another dull day passes as you struggle to manage your failing farm. Your crops are beginning to wilt and your cow is sick. Oh, it's like it beginning in a country song. For some time, the land has been very quiet. The air has grown thick and foul. Each passing day, you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. Perhaps it is up to you. Ah, oh, fuck. I hope not. I don't want to deal with all that. I just want to go around my happy little life. Ugh. I've made up my mind. You're going to do something about it. You stand in front of your humble home, pondering what you should do next. Okay, go to the crops over here. Go into the house or go to the shed. I feel like the shed. It has tools. You attempt to open the shed door, but the door won't budge. You remember locking it some time ago, but you can't remember what you did with the key. Of course not. Okay. Check the crops. Ooh, that's scary. The path divides the crops. You have labored so hard to prosper these less or these past months. A penetrating odor emits you reminds you. What kind of odor could there be in crops? That your plants are that your plants are decaying and time is running short. You could try finish reading Genie. Good job. Follow the path, go to the pen back to the house. Let's go to the house. Maybe we'll get supplies. Yeah. I want to go to the house. Entering the house, you feel a subtle uneasiness as if growing light outside has penetrated the walls of your safe haven. From what you see, however, everything is the same as you left it. Perhaps this may be a good time to just lay in bed and wish that your problems will just go away. You fight the notion but the temptation is still there. Yeah, fuck it. Just sleep through it, right? Fuck it. Why not? Um, yeah, let's look for stuff. You open the chest and find nothing more than a pile of papers. It seems you have less valuables than you anticipated. You close the chest. Huh. Dear Journal, another usual day on the farm. The crops are growing with good health. I thought they were, like, dying. How long ago did I write in my journal? <sighs> Whatever. Okay, Bethane is doing quite well. Bethane. Bethane. <laughs> Bethane is doing quite well. Never disappointed with the milk she provides. If anything continue, if things continue to go well, I may be able to invest in more animals. A farmer can only be so social with a cow. Oh my. Uh, this is not the kind of story I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I feel like... I feel like... Oh, I don't want to say it. Okay. Dear Journal, today has been an unfortunate day. Somebody broke into my shed and stole some things. I usually don't mind if someone steals a bite to eat from the garden, but to take my equipment? Well, I put a lock on the door and hit the key. Nobody will ever get into my stuff again. Including us! Yeah. Dear journal, I woke up. What? Well, how come there's so much journal stuff? Okay. Dear journal, I woke one night to a foul smell I've never come across before. I took a step outside to see what I could find, but found nothing after searching about the farm. Whatever it is, it must be bad. I should make a trip to the city to see what this is about. Thank God. This... Uh. Well, I guess we don't even have any supplies to take with us. Uh, let's go to the crops. And then we'll go... Might as well go to the pen. Toxic fume burns your nose as you enter the pen. The poor cow lays lifeless on the ground as a growing blight slowly begins to consume her body. You feel sick to your stomach as you stand there, especially as you stare at the back black mushrooms that dot the ground. Don't eat it. 
No, don't touch the fucking mushrooms. Ew. Yeah. We inspect the water. Looking for anything abnormal. You notice that the water has a dark consistency to it. Dropping a stone into it, black particles from the bottom swirl about like a thunderstorm. Your face shrivels in disgust. Okay, let's... Oh, see? I knew we shouldn't have touched it. I knew we shouldn't have touched it. We kneeled down and grabbed a mushroom. As we begun to rip it out of the ground, a cloud of spores spray up from the mushroom. Your hands begin to burn and smell and melt as you observe them. Holy Jesus! We're melting? Slowly your bottle shrivels into a dark, moist consistency as the poison spreads. You die, eventually, after crawling about on the ground. Your adventure ends here. The fuck? Okay, I see how it goes. Okay, let's just... We're just gonna skip through all this to get back, because we're gonna go to this town. I knew... I knew to not touch the fucking... I knew to not touch the mushroom. We're not even gonna go to the pen. We're gonna follow the path. We continue down the trail for a while until we see a cave off in the distance. We pause, questioning if there could be something helpful in there. Hmm. No? Uh, no. We will die in the cave. I don't want to go. Okay. You come to a stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon. Okay. Yeah, inspect the wagon. You look about the mess and find bits of food and clothes scattered about the scene. Sweet. Grab it. You notice a key in the ground during your search. It's our key. Pick up the key. You pick up the key and continue on your way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. After what felt like an hour, you reach a bridge. Nearby the bridge is a small shack, similar to the house you have on your farm. The man that lives there is a kind fellow from what you recall. Maybe he is home. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's say hi to our neighbor. You walk around the structure and knock on the door. Yep. Nothing? You scratch the back of your head, figuring that the person that lives there is here is currently occupied, if not elsewhere. You remember picking up a key from the wagon, and you use it on the door. Why would we do that? It should ask me if I want to do that. I don't want to break into someone's house. Like, what if they're in there, and they're just busy, and then you come bursting in? Like, that's fucked up. They could kill us. The door unlocks. See? Yeah. I don't want to go in. Oh, why are we deciding to help ourselves in? I don't agree with this. Observing the empty room, you realize something terrible must have taken place here. All the more reason to not be there. The room is a wreck, just like the wagon. Oh man, there's a trap door in the floor. See it? There's scratch marks going towards it. It's a bad situation. I don't want to be here. You're overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. Yeah. Inspect the book on the table. Yeah, let's just look at the book. You pick up the book and start to flip through the pages. You discover that this is a journal. Reading a passage or two can't hurt. <sighs> Today's trading went smoothly. Thank goodness. What am I? Th what I am thrilled most about, however, is what one of my buddies mentioned to me at the conclusion of our day. Apparently, there is a pond nearby that has some of the biggest fish in the region. With a good catch, I can make enough to move things forward. I was caught off guard when he mentioned that nobody has been able to catch any from there. I guess your typical fishing rod won't do the trick, but what... What? But what can be done about it then? Something to be intrigued about, I suppose. Okay more journal. These past couple weeks have been really rough for me. My trading business has gone under and I have lost nearly everything I own. This has pushed me to extremes. But but that I can't be helped or but that can't be helped now. I am leaving this place forever, never to return. The land is dying and there is nothing but darkness here. Anyone reading this should leave while they can. Why do you expect somebody would be reading it? in your house that was locked. I'm confused. <sighs> you can't find a name to give this man, but regardless of the name, you got chills running down your spine. Yeah. I feel like we're going to die, but I'm too curious. You observe the trapdoor and notice 
a lock keeping it closed. Oh, good. We don't have a key. With the key, ugh, with your key, you unlock the hatch and get it open. Fuck. Without thinking, you travel downwards. Yeah, see, right there. That's, like, foreboding. We're gonna die. Again. Holy shit! What the fuck was this guy doing in his basement? Walking down the steps leading below, the air attacks your body with a piercing cold. You notice immediately that there is a woman chained to the wall. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. You feel darkness around you as you stay in this awful place. Uh, yeah, we should kind of help the bitch. You tremble as you try to form words in your mouth. You, there, let me out of here. The pressure is such a demand you freeze, or it makes you freeze. You take a moment to think about the situation before you respond. You, what got you locked up bef to begin with? You'll never believe me even if I told you the truth. Yeah, no. Something brought you here. Please, have mercy on me. No, no. Uh, I want more information. I don't feel like I can make an educated choice right now. Oh, uh, we're going to have to free her. You approach the woman and unlock the sham shackles that bind her. She's going to fucking kill us. Her arms become free. She moans in pain. Oh, thank you so much. The woman struggles to regain her strength, but starts to stand up on her own. As she gets up, she turns towards you. Fuck. We're, we're fucked. Yep. Oh. I will now do you a favor. <laughs> well, hello there. Giddy up. Ah, oh, see? What seemed to be the face of a helpless woman disappears as a horrible image manifests itself before you. You feel the chilling grip of bones lock on your arm. Energy flees from your body and you fall to your knees. I knew it. We were going to die. You feel the essence of your life slip away as everything goes black. It's an unfortunate. It is unfortunate that your journey ends here. Oh man, I'm I'm dying in all the ways. Okay, so I suck at this game. Okay. Okay, this time I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it as if like I was actually making real choices for like a real life situation. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Skip, skip, skip. Okay, so in real life, I would check the house. But check the shed and I'd go this way we already know what's in the house and the shed so we're not gonna bother I would just follow the path because at walking by I would see the dead fucking cow I'm not stupid I'm not going into a fucking cave I don't care if there's leprechauns okay so I'd keep going down the path I would continue I would inspect the wagon because why the fuck not but then I would not go bother somebody's house not in real life Okay, so the goal right now is to stay alive. We're going to try to stay alive. You cross the bridge safely and continue down the trail. Okay, after that has happened, you feel that you should take a moment to rest. Why would I do that? How tired am I? How far have I gone? You find a spot under a tree and sit down. Getting comfortable, you tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. I don't really particularly like out to side that much. So... Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't do that in real life. Take a nap. Pick at the grass. I'm not going to fall asleep outside. I guess I'm picking at the grass. As you pick at the grass... Uh, okay. As you pick at the grass, blades in your hand... Or in your reach. The grass... The ground... God, fuck my life. Okay, the ground begins to shake. Before you can get up, roots from below sprout from the ground and wrap around your legs. Ugh. Really? You turn around to see a large angry face looking back at you. Okay, so my plan of action is obviously not working out. Your jaw drops in horror. Fucking right it would. Look at this guy. No sound or scream escapes your tongue as you tighten the grip on the roots, squeeze what air is left out of your body. How did we fucking die this time? Okay. Your venture ends here. Okay. Okay, so... I understand how I died the first two times. Like, I was obviously doing stupid shit. Making bad choices. 
That's not a bad, well, that's a bad choice, but I had no choice but to make a bad choice. I feel like I was set up for failure. I don't know how I could have avoided that. I thought I made the best choice, so who's gonna, why, how is picking at the grass safer or more dangerous than taking a nap? Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. I'm going to stop there. I might try this again. Probably I will in like two minutes, but I don't want the video to be long. Anyway, so I will see you guys later. Wish me luck. I'm going to try to think of a strategy. Okay. Bye.